Good morning, Hot Tots, and welcome back to my channel. I know I look kind of nuts right now, as in really pale. I'm about to go into Orange Theory. It is seven in the morning, and I'm taking a class. And I always get anxiety before because it's hard, but I'm excited. Um, and yeah, so I had some pre-workout. I'll show you it when I get home. Um, it's Alani New, like watermelon. So I had some of that. I have my water to bring in. And then, yeah, I'll see you guys after class. This is what I look like before. Hi, sleepy, scared. And here's what I look like after. And ta-da. Honestly, that class was way easier than my first class. I think the trainer I had was like a really, really hard one. Cause this person was like hard, but like he wasn't in my face and he wasn't like, you know, yelling to push you harder or anything. He was just like letting you do your thing, which that's why I think that girl is hard. Um, but I still had a great workout. I mean, I love Orange Theory, I really do. So if I can stick with it and do this twice a week for a month, then I'm gonna up it to Unlimited and try to do it like three to four times a week so I can really like see results, you know? But I really liked his class. He's not like in your face, which I hate when people are like in your face, you know? And I still got a really good workout in, so. That went well and now we're heading back home i have to shower really quick and then um get my coffee and everything and then log on to work which we're not very excited about but it's okay so i'll see you guys at home okay guys we're back with another yvette sportswear try on haul so the first thing they sent me are these shorts i love these shorts these are the infold high-waisted shorts they're for high impact sports but they don't feel that way if you know what i mean they're very soft they have this thick band right here which i love because it sucks you in but it like pushes you all at the same in the same the same way you know what i mean instead of having like something here and then a small band here so i really love that they're very very soft these come in only one color this color which couldn't have picked a better color you know we love that purple girl they come in sizes extra small to 2xl and i love them so much so one thing i kind of wanted to do on this video which i thought would be fun is kind of show you what i would pair it with so right now I'm wearing this bra as well. I just got the black bra on this, which I'll show you. This is the Anywhere bra. It's more like medium to low support, but honestly, I wear this to work out all the time and just in general. Has that high neckline right under the arm. It's very, very comfortable, but you can wear it as like this little short top, which I love that. So let me show you. I like to wear outfits like this with like a cute little jean shirt. And then with my white tennies, I just think it's so cute. So stylish. You can head to the gym this way, take this off. Then when you get out, put this back on and you're ready to go, which reminds me of an accessory. So they also sent me this bag, which I think is super cute. It's waterproof. It's easy to fold. Um, so it can be bigger, obviously. It's called the B2B bag. It says B on here in black. They also have it in clear, which I think is so cute. What I love about this bag is this is definitely a sports bag. Like it's waterproof. You can fold it bend it all different ways. It doesn't matter. You can easily clean this off. But what's cool is you can put your big freaking water bottle that you guys know I have in here and it fits along with anything else that you need, like your phone, you know, I don't know. Do you need a sweater? Like put that in there, girl. It will fit. And then just take your bag with you. Like, but you still look super cute and super fetch heading to the gym. Like, oh, hey guys, I'm just heading to the gym. You get what I'm saying. So I thought this was so cute, such a cute outfit, such a cool bag to add to your purse collection because this is a bag that you don't care if you get sweat on it, you don't care if you get mud on it, dirt on it, if anything happens to the outside of this bag, water, because it's waterproof, you can wipe it off, but it definitely has more of a statement. You know what I mean? It's super cute. And like I said, it can fold right back in. So the second you take all your bigger stuff out of that, 
it folds in, you know what I mean? Just like a normal bag like this. You can even push the bottom down if you really wanted to. So super cute. I love it. And now on to the next fit. So here is the next sports bra I wanted to show you guys. It's very, very comfortable. I really like it. It doesn't put a lot of pressure on your neck. Like I said, you guys know, I hate that neck pressure. This is the Powerback Multicolor Bra. Very beautiful, has some mesh detailing here. On the back, it crisscrosses, so it kind of takes away from all that shoulder strength, you know what I mean, that shoulder restraint that you get from some bras. You can adjust it here. It looks very beautiful on your back. Like, I love the look of it. Like, hello? Super pretty, I love this purple color again. It's high impact, so if you got the big girls, it'll work out for you. I have small girls and it still works out for me because nothing affects me because I have no boobs. But anyway, I think this is super, super cute, super pretty. The cups are non-removable, which is nice. They're not super thick, but they do not come out. So you don't have to worry about that in the washer. I will also say, I love this underneath a little T. You can see the little X back if you wear kind of like a see-through T, which I think is cute, but it's not so noticeable that it's like in your face underneath your shirt. I think this would be such a cute little outfit. Grab your gym bag, head to the gym. I think it's beautiful. And honestly, I love this purple color with this purple color. I do think that they match really cute. And I just think it's really beautiful and it's very, very comfortable. And like I said, it's for high impact sports, but you could wear it for low impact if you wanted. Cause you know me, I'm doing both. You know, I'm doing orange theory and then I'm just walking outside. Either way, I'm trying to look cute. Here is the black version of the anywhere bra. Like again, I love this bra. It goes down really low, super soft. The cups are in there. You can remove these cups though. Um, which is nice because if you're not really a big cup person, I'm not really a big cup person, but like in this, I actually don't mind it. Love it. I think it's super, super cute. I'm just showing it with like some just little like sleepy shorts or, and I think this would look really cute with like just a little like big t-shirt overlay or a little pair of your workout black shorts that you have, like black on black with the jean, or you know, if you're just chilling, this is super cute, but if you go on a walk or you go outside, hang out with your girlfriends in the sunlight, whatever, you're ready to go, you're in, you're ready to party, or you know, whatever you wanna do, like work out. Not party guys, work out. Again, this comes in sizes extra small to 2XL and in five different colors. I have every color because I just love it. Like, I think it looks super cute. It goes with everything. I like it to pair with this. Like, I think this looks so cute under like a big floppy slouchy tee. A lot of you guys were asking me about this the other day. This is what I was wearing. This is the bra that was underneath with this just plain white tee. I think that these bras can really just go with anything. Same thing with this purse, guys. Like, it just kind of goes. Put your water bottle in here, any of your stuff, and it just, like, looks all cute together. Like, you're just sporty spice, you know? Let's go to the gym or to the store. It doesn't matter because we look good. Yeah, yeah. And it's versatile. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, that's it for today's try-on haul. Again, use code SOFIA15 for 15% off. Or if you spend over $109, use code SOFIA20 for 20% off. They definitely help you with sizing. Make sure to get help with sizing. I'll have all my sizes in the description box below along with all of these different links. I love you guys so much and let's get on with the video. So here's my outfit choice of the day. Watch yourself. So this is just the white version of the black one I just showed you. I really love these a lot. They're super cute, but I like just wearing like a cute little, you know, dress them up, dress them down. I'm going to have some breakfast. I'm trying to think of what I want. Usually I don't eat breakfast as you guys know, but when I work out in the mornings, like I get really hungry. So I'll show you guys what I decide. Actually, I already know what I'm gonna decide, right? I'm trying to think between two things. One, some toast, a piece of Canadian bacon and some eggs and like put it in a sandwich, like on a, I have an English muffin or just like a bagel thin because that would also taste really good because I'm just like, you know, but I think I need some protein, so I'm gonna do that. So, we're gonna do a piece of the Canadian bacon. Three slices is 60 calories. That's crazy. 
Um, one egg and one egg white, some hot sauce, and then one of these 100 calorie multigrain English muffins. I've been really into these lately, so I'll show you guys when it's done. Oh my gosh, you guys, yesterday I decided to eat soup for lunch and I was sipping on it and it was scolding hot. And I like drank it real fast and it burned like the side of my tonsil on my left side. It hurts so bad. I'm like, gosh, why can't I just wait? Ugh. But okay, I'll show you guys when I'm done. Also, here's Oliver for today. Ollie, say hi. Hi, stinker. Okay, now breakfast. I don't have cheese on it today because I ran out of my laughing cow like habanero cheese that I love and honestly with the hot sauce and stuff I don't necessarily even need cheese so I just have one egg white one full egg an English muffin and a piece of Canadian bacon and some hot sauce and that is breakfast here we are. I accidentally didn't put this side of it in the toaster. But anyways, so if you didn't know, one egg white is zero points for green. It's obviously zero points for blue. But when you get to a certain point, um, egg whites are points on green. I'm on the green plan, but don't worry. I'll put up on the screen everyone's points. The egg for me was two points, zero for blue and purple. And then the English muffin was three. So to all together, this is a five-point breakfast for me, and then it is a three-point breakfast for green and purple. Let's do this. Sad, my strawberries are gross. They're like super squishy and some of them have like rot on them, but I had half of one of those pieces for three points with a little bit of fat-free Ready Whip. So this will be a three-point lunch dessert. No strawberries though, because they're gross. So sad. Oliver, of course, got his little serving. Let's eat. Okay, so change of plans. My friend Megan is coming over. I just got done working and we're going to walk for a little bit and then go get some food at this restaurant nearby. And so in the meantime, I'm going to cut up an apple and eat that as a snack because I have a feeling I'm gonna want to eat something there that's not, you know, like the most nutritional. As we know. So I'm gonna eat this snack. It's about 4.30 right now. She said she'll be here at about almost five. So we're gonna go on like a quick walk, maybe for like a half an hour, and then we're gonna head over and eat. I'll show you guys what I have, but this is why I literally eat lower point all day. Usually is because most of the time, my plans are at night. Most of the time I get tempted during the nighttime to eat dinner, to go out, to have a drink with friends, yada, yada, you know? So um, I'm trying to get this sticker off this dang apple, but I'm gonna eat this and then drink some Coke Zero. Pop kind of fills up my tummy. Um, I'm not saying this is the best way to go about your life, you know? I'm just saying this is how I go about mine. So I'm gonna do that because I don't wanna eat a full meal and then we're gonna go eat in like less than an hour, you know? Work swept me away again. So I'm gonna eat this. Ollie's gonna stay there, don't worry. He's gonna chill and relax. And then I'll show you whatever I show you next. Get your feet in. <laughs> All right, we're heading to go eat some food. I'll show you guys what I get, but we got really sweaty during that walk. I'm glad we like changed our clothes. It's so muggy out right now, but we're just going to have some food. People are playing games outside and seem very happy. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I get when I get it. Actually, you know what I mean? It's got my built bars in. I'm going to do a, like a taste test for this for next week. I'm excited. Hey cuties. It's the next day. I forgot to close out my vlog. So just to kind of explain my tacos, I put as about five points each. When I put in three tacos, it made it 14 points. 
Um, so I counted the taco as 14 points and the tots, I just looked at them and knew that they were bigger. So I counted them as two points a piece and I ate four of them. So that was eight points. So I ended my day on perfect 30 out of 30 points. I get a lot of questions about what to do when you're out. Like if it's a restaurant that's not on the tracker, I do not stress about it. If my tacos are pretty bare and they look small, like these tacos were only like this long, like they were super small and like this tall, they had a good amount of meat in them, but they only had onions, coleslaw, like not coleslaw, just like cabbage, onions, cabbage, and a little aioli on them. They're very fresh and like that type of feel taco. I said, okay, these tacos are not worth more than five points a piece, you know? So I looked for a five point taco and that's what I did. Barbacoa, five point taco, added three in. It said 14 points. I rolled with it. The tater tots I know are bigger because they were like about this big. Um, they were like a bigger circle type of tot. So I was like, okay, these, you know, I'm not gonna be able to have like five of these for a couple points. These would probably be about a hundred to 150 calories per piece. So what I'm going to do is count them each as two points. So every tot I ate, I counted as two points, ended up eating four big tots and counted it as eight points and called it a day. So I don't really worry about it. You know what I mean? Um, don't stress about it because you don't want to make things harder on yourself and then you won't do it. You know, just do the best you can. If your taco has tons of fixings on it, you know, that should be a higher point taco. You know what I mean? If your taco doesn't have any pointed food on top of it besides the meat and maybe just a little sauce, you know, it'd be like somewhere in the lower medium type of taco, you know, depending on the shell and everything. So just use your best judgment, but Thank you guys so, so much for watching and thank you for always supporting me. Make sure to check out Yvette Sportswear. I thank you guys always so, for supporting me in anything I post and just being so positive about it. Um, and even support in that way is wonderful, but they do have some really great workout gear. So I do suggest you check them out, try them out once, see if you like it. Definitely ask them for their size guides um, and chat with them about what size you should get. Um, because I do wear an extra large bra and usually, you know, I have no chest. I wear like a 36B bra usually, and I wear extra large in their bras. And then I wear size large leggings in their pants. And usually I wear about mediums in American sizes, you know, so make sure you check out their size guide. But thank you guys always for supporting me and being awesome. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.